Get ready. Okay, start. 29th of March 2014, around 10.20 a.m. This is the male golden retriever, nine years old. Two years old? Uh, two years old, I'm sorry. Okay, came in for the surgery to remove the undescended testicle. The undescended testicle... Now let's see which side is undescended. It should be... The turn, turn a bit more. Now the undescended testicle is called crypto kit the condition. Now we will check whether the undescended testicle is is uh, easily easily uh, located and found or not. Because sometimes the undescended testicle is inside the abdomen, so you have to open up and uh, go inside and take it out. Now. From what I see, this seems to be the left side is descended. There's a left testicle and the right testicle is undescended, hasn't come down. And it is probably inside here. Normally it should be around here. But the undescended testicle normally is very small. It's so small that uh, sometimes you can't feel it. Now in, th in this, this dog, it's really small and uh, there might be a problem of getting it so in some cases we need to open up open up the abdomen and go in and and uh, remove it because if you just want to remove from the under the skin from what I see it's not possible in the sense that it's very small you will just drop into the canal the inguinal canal you drop in and so, uh, so uh, it's uh, it's uh, impossible to 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 remove it under the skin. Uh, this case is most likely there is no there is no uh, under the skin on this inner test case deep inside. So the owner must be informed that. Uh, If you can't get it, then you have to open up. Now it seems to be... It could be here, but... Uh, mm. It could be just... Uh, inguinal tissue or fatty tissues. So. Okay, so... Uh, the, the previous receiver, what did the vet say? Uh, he said, he said, he said... Which he side? Had, uh, the Daniel Sim. Uh, which side? Which oh. side? Which side? He didn't mention. He said it was the right, I think. Okay, what we do? Let the dog stand up and uh, yeah. ah. let the stand up, and then I can feel 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 whether whether the testicle is yeah. You you have to feel here. Wait, the male stand properly, and then uh, well, this lamp stand, this stand normally, lamp stand. Normally. Okay, yeah. The table is very slippery. Not slippery, I mean. There might be a small one, but I don't think that is the undescended one. Normally, you can feel it uh, under the skin, but in in some cases you can't feel it because it's, it has not uh, come down under the skin. It's inside the the abdomen. You see? So in such cases, you need to open up and then uh, fish out. Mm. Otherwise, what happens is uh, it's a waste of time. Mm trying to look for it under the skin. Mm -hmm. In this case, it can't be seen. Then uh, the question you want to ask me? Ah, yes. So, so, so in this case, I'm doing only a, like, uh, the... Undescended one, yeah. I'm only removing the retainer. So in the contralateral testes, is there an increased risk of neck, uh, malignancy or cancer? The normal descended yeah. one. Normal descended one, unlikely to get testicular uh, tumor. Okay. But uh, unlikely doesn't mean it does yeah, happen. It does happen. So, so what's the... Is there any like surveillance? Any, any surveillance I can do? Yeah, what you do, you check it every week or so. Okay. The size, okay. the firmness. Okay. Uh, if, if, the, if it still remains the same size as now, okay. then uh, it's not cancerous. Uh. Okay. The, the, the danger of this, we call it the abdominal uh, uh, cryptocase, is that uh, 
when you grow old, you become cancerous and you don't know, nobody knows it because it's inside. And uh, after that, it rots. And so the dog dies, uh, but uh, that time is already too late. So that's the reason that uh, the crypto kit or undescended or retained Tesla is advised to be removed. Okay. So for the, if you, you have to do a lot of how long must you rest? You sure take uh, 7 to 14 days, I mean the same. Yeah, but it runs quite regularly. So how long can we return to? 14 days. Huh? 14 days. Huh? But this is not very thin, you know, for some reason. Huh? He runs around 20 kg. He's, he's under fat, I think. Oh, is it? Under fat. Huh? Okay. Uh, how much he eat? Two times a day, uh, around like 400 grams of feed, I mean, chicken, and corn, and carrot. I think he's un under fat okay. for some reason. He's only 26 kg. Uh. Oh, okay. Normally, normally, you can feel the spine. Uh. It comes show here. How come it showing there? You can feel the spine and the steam. Uh. Has the blood test been done? How about because surgery. No, no problem. Huh? No problem. No. There was no blood test to done for this. None was offered. Because the dog is so thin, it's best to do a blood test, see if there's anything wrong with the kidney or the liver. Okay. Before going into this uh, general anesthetic. Any coughing? No. Peter is good. Not very good. And the heart and the lungs are okay. No vomiting, no diarrhea. No, no. But basically, normally in uh, those uh, normal dogs, uh, mm. we, we normally offer advice blood tests for screening the health before mm. anesthesia. Mm. And uh, but of course, some owners, it's up to them whether they want to do it or not. Mm. And uh, if they don't do it, then uh, if the dog looks healthy and is checked out to be healthy, uh, then uh, we don't do the blood test. Uh, but in your case, because the dog is very thin, okay. so I suggest a blood test to check whether there's anything wrong. But even in blood test, when, how fast will you come back? Uh, one day. One day, but then he still go operation to do it. need to postpone. Oh. Because you didn't do the blood test early on, is it? Or the bad minutes advise you? I was advised. No, the bad minutes advise you. Okay, that's a uh,